We are here outside the paddock track side with Western PA native and driver extraordinaire, Dave Pallone. Thank you for taking the time after a busy night. Yeah, it's been kind of busy. Uh, we had a pretty decent night tonight. Uh, hope we save some love for next week's final. <laughs> that for sure. So you've had such a successful career, Hall of Fame inductee. I kind of looked through your history a little bit, and every year since 1990, you have won at least minimum a million dollars. So how's this season going for you so far? It's been a pretty good start. You know, this is my favorite time of the year with the state races starting and, and traveling. It gets a little tough, you know, getting around from town to town, but uh, you know, I enjoy it, and that's where it's at, the young horses. So for those who um, don't know, how did you get your start here? Oh, well, I, I, my father owned horses as a hobby, and as a kid I used to go to the track with him and saw my first adios, I think, when I was about 10 years old, and uh, I've just been hooked ever since. You know, it was, I was athletic in school, a lot of sports, and it was just something I could do to compete when I was done with high school. So what age did you actually get on and, and start jogging a horse? Oh, 13, but I, I got my license right out of high school and, and you know, kind of came up the right way, cleaning stalls and, you know, all the hot walking and, and started at the bottom. But, uh, you know, I think that really helps a lot. It's a good start for young kids to, to, I think, get involved that way and learn the bottom up. So looking back, I mean, from that start to now, did you ever think, you know, with your father being an owner, I know some people's uh, parents are trainers or drivers, you know, did you ever think that your career would take you this far? Well, I, you know, I really didn't, and I think my mother really wanted me to go to college, you know, and that's <laughs> what I say every time it's raining or snowing, you know. My mother tried to warn me, but, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm pretty proud of my career and the fact that, you know, my father really doesn't know the difference between a trotter and a pacer. He really wasn't interested in the training or, or any of that aspect, so, you know, I'm not a second or third generation horseman, so it's been a grind, and um, I still enjoy it. Just the last few handful of years have been very successful. Do you do you consider this at this point, you know, the peak of your career? Oh, I think I'm on the back nine, that's for <laughs> sure. <laughs> you know, I don't know what hole I'm on, but, uh, you know, I, I feel good. I try and keep myself in good shape. I still uh, drive for a lot of great accounts, so as long as I can trick them into thinking I can win races, I'll be okay. I don't think you have to do much fooling there. Last summer you were inducted into the Hall of Fame. What does that feel like? Well, you know, it was a great day. My parents were there, uh, all my kids, my wife. Uh, it was very emotional, you know, to, to actually get to drive in the Hall of Fame race against the, you know, all the Hall of Famers and my idols growing up. You know, I know when I designed my colors, they were John Campbell's colors with uh, the red instead of the maroon and a P instead of a C. But, you know, he was my idol, still is. So that was, a, that was a really big day for me. It has to be just an incredible feeling. Can't even imagine. Are there any um, memorable wins for you, any one or two that really stand out? I think my first Adios win was um, the most emotional with my family there. And, you know, it was unexpected with a long shot. And uh, I was pretty overcome there. And then I won the Little Brown Jug and the Jugette. Uh, with my best friend's horse in the jug and my brother's horse in the jugette. So those were pretty special. Delaware, if you've never been there, you got to go. Those ones with the special meaning, those races, you know, with that personal connection there. Right. Very big. Any goals that you still have? Anything that you would still like to accomplish in your career as a driver? Yeah, I'd, I'd like to stay upright and, 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 and catch Hervé sometime. You know, that's a goal. I've been grinding away now for 25, 27 years, whatever it's been. But, you know, he's a legend and... Um, you know, I've never compared my career to his, but it, it would mean a lot to me to uh, to run him down and, and get the dash title someday. Hey, so you're on track, doing well uh, this season. Anybody following in your footsteps? Any families? Well, uh, my wife's a barrel racer. My oldest daughter is a barrel racer. Um, <laughs> I wouldn't want them starting in this game. It's too tough, <laughs> especially being girls. I have enough trouble out here with these guys. But, uh, no, they, we all love horses. We have a farm, and... Um, I have no idea why I collect riding horses when we're racing for all this money, but uh, yeah, we're, we're all horse lovers. You just love the animal. I Can't do. get away from it. So I'm going to look at my notes here. I have a few questions. We just want to find out more about you, so we're going to put you in the lightning round. Sure. You're really good at making those split-second decisions, so I think that you're going to do well here. Okay. What was the first car you ever had? A 62 Pontiac Le Mans that I had big fat tires on it. I thought I was a pimp boy. What color was that? Orange. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah. I could just see you oh coming my. in. I w yeah, long hair, played a guitar in high school. It was wild. Oh man, so you played the guitar too. What about your first job? My father had a, a car dealership, so it was washing cars. That was the first thing I ever remember getting paid for. <laughs> um, okay, if you could eat only one type of food for the rest of your life, what would it be? 
Well, we kind of have a tradition since I was born. Uh, every Sunday, spaghetti and meatballs. I guess it's the Italian thing, but, yeah. uh, you know, I'm a pasta guy. You can't go wrong with that. Is your mom making the sauce? Is it your wife making the sauce? <laughs> it's mom's. Okay. Yeah, it's mom's <laughs> from grandma, you know. Yeah, all handed down. Uh, any special talents, any hobbies outside of driving? I'd like to fashion myself a golfer, but <laughs> that game has gone south, too, so... I guess my next hobby is uh, probably being groomed for my wife and daughters at the horse shows. There you go. Uh, if you won the lottery, what's the first thing you'd do? If I won the lottery, what's the first thing I would do? Wow, that's a tough one. Aside from cash the ticket. Uh, you know, you I, I don't get to spend any of the money anyway. They do. <laughs> so I'm sure I would get a, a small piece, but uh, it would yeah. go towards the girls probably. It might go towards some purses and shoes and all right. that good stuff. <laughs> uh, what about your favorite TV show? What do you hate to miss? Wow, I'm, I'm hooked on Good Morning America. Oh. Yeah, I, every morning. I mean, not many people could say that as their favorite TV show, yeah. but uh, yeah, tune in. Lady Gaga Monday. It was giant. <laughs> <laughs> you even know who they've got yeah. on tap. That's pretty good. Um, what would you do if you had an extra half an hour in the day to spend however you'd like? How would you spend it? Uh, boy, I'll tell you, probably with the girls. I mean, you know, it's, it's nothing like being a dad. Uh, it's like I said, it's tough traveling like this. I like when they come with me. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'd probably spend it with the girls. That's a, a great corny, answer. Huh? No, no, that's a great answer. <laughs> um, uh, I kind of already know the answer. You've kind of answered this throughout this interview. But any idols, any mentors, people you look up to? Yeah, it's been John. You know, I was in a serious wreck three or four years ago. And just the type of guy that he is, he would call and check on me, you know. And it, it, you don't know what that meant to me, you know, having him uh, – talk me through it. He was had the same kind of injury, and that's the kind of guy John Campbell is. He's not just a Hall of Famer on the racetrack. He's just a class act. Well, it was a pleasure doing this interview. Thank you again for taking the time, and I know you'll be here a lot over the next couple weeks, so excited to catch up with you again. Okay, thanks, y'all.